Hello and welcome back to RA Guns. Today we've got with us this wonderful Caesar Greeny Magnus Sporter on loan from a friend. Uh, we're going to be doing a tabletop review and then we're going to get it down the range and do some uh, clay shooting with it as well. So I've nearly bought one of these quite a few times and I've always ended up getting a Beretta but it's, it's been really close every time you know that they do look uh, they look fantastic they've got a lot of the um, technical bits that the um, the larger manufacturers are now using and and now you're getting a lot of medals being won with these a lot of competition so you know that that's definitely backing up their reputation um, like I said this is a friends and it's been well used. It's it's had tens of thousands of rounds through it, and uh, you you wouldn't know it's it's still holding together really well. And apart from the odd cosmetic bump, you know it, it looks fantastic still. So quick thank you to Shooting Sports UK. Without their support, we wouldn't be able to keep the channel going. Uh, you know, steady stream of uh, guns to review. Um, so go give them a look. And if you haven't already, please uh, subscribe and and hit the notification icon so uh, you'll get a You'll get a message pop up every time we uh, we get one of these videos out every Wednesday and uh, and sometimes Sunday too. So that's it. Let's get on the bench and uh, see what it's about. So here we are. This is the sporting version of this gun. You can also get this as a trap configuration as well. And both of those are available with adjustable combs. And you can get this gun in a 410, 28, 20 and 12 bore. Uh, this being the 12. You can also get various different options uh, with high ribs as well. So this gun weighs in at three and a half kilos, which is just about right for a sporter. It's available with 28, 30, 32 and even 34 inch barrels, uh, this being the 32 inch variant. It comes in a lovely moulded and lined case, but unfortunately we don't have that to show you, so you'll just have to take my word for it, but it is very nice. So, starting at the back, we have got a black rubber pad. It's solid, but it's got some give in it, it's, uh, it's quite nice. Uh, the pad to wood fit you've got a plastic spacer in the way but it's it's very well done the wood grade on all seasons i've ever shot is you know it's always of a high standard uh, and this is no exception this one you know, i reckon is a solid grade three and they put a very nice wax polish on them to give it this high gloss finish uh, and they look really good Dimensionally, the stock is 14.8 inches long. It's got a 35 by 55 drop. Um, the pistol grip is quite nice and comfortable. It's got a medium palm swell in there, so that locates your hand very well. It's laser checkered, and the wood to metal fit all round is quite well done. The trigger is adjustable for length of pull. If you, uh, if you loosen it, it'll slide backwards and forwards. The safety catch is manual and can be applied just as you would with any other safety catch. And then barrel selector is on there as well. The lever to open it seems a bit strange to me and it, it feels a bit stubby, but it, it opens just fine. Um, it just feels <laughs> a little short, but uh, yeah, works works well. Now for the action, just like the wood, I've, I've never been disappointed with Caesar Green's engraving. Um, as I understand it, it's laser cut, laser etched, then stamped and hand finished afterwards, and it just looks fantastic. Um, and it really makes it stand out from the competition. Uh, on the one side, we've got woodcocks, 
and on the other some pheasants and all over top bottom underneath everywhere there's the scroll work and uh, yeah really really well done so the ejectors are fairly standard but work really well it's worth noting as well on this gun that the chambers are only for two and three quarter inch cartridges so you can't put three inch cartridges in so just bear that one in mind but the barrels are steel proofed and superior proofed at that and Caesar Greeny have got their own bore geometry um, with forcing cones so you should get some really good patterns out of this gun it comes with this Schnabel fore end as standard um, and on the trap you get a Beavertail one as well and I think there's an option for a rounded one. Now the, the release on these is a little bit different to other things you might have seen and there's a button on the end here for removing the fore end. I quite like this and what it does it, it leaves more room for wood, um, less amount of work, less switches on, on the actual fore end so yeah I quite like that. The rib is tapered from 10 down to 8 millimeters. It's got a nice little silver mid bead and a white nylon end bead. The ribs, both the top and the mid rib, are both ventilated. Finally, the chokes. This comes as standard with a set of eight extended chokes which is just a, a massive amount of chokes. Um, what you get is all the standard sizes and then all the half sizes between them as well. So you can really dial in your patterns and, and get it shooting the way you want it. Okay, that's enough for this. So uh, let's get down the clay ground. Well. What do you reckon? Is that enough for you? Yeah. Is that right? <laughs> okay, so firstly, this shoots wonderfully. Um, it balances very well. Now remembering this is the 32 inch model with extended choke, so it's going to be a little bit forward of the hinge pin. Uh, but it, it, it swings lovely, easy control. Um, both on the sporting and DTL layouts, it, was, uh, it, it, it did really well. Secondly, I want to put a challenge out to anyone out there to find me a better value gun for the money. I don't think anything else out there for this price point can do this level of wood, engraving, build quality, adjustable trigger, set of eight chokes, 
comes in a nice case. I just don't think there's, there's anything out there that can compete with this in terms of value. Um, there's other guns out there that are slightly more technically advanced, but the gap's narrowing with these. And if you're in the market for a mid-range sporter, you definitely need to give these a look. Um, yeah, give them some thought. It could be an option for you. So, thanks for watching. Um, please like, subscribe, and we'll, uh, we'll see you next time.